it's time for the grand final. Space Station had to run through one match in the lower bracket, a game seven to get here. Furia has yet to lose. Let's play the grand finals of the Spring Invitational. Two Boston bound teams find themselves here again. Five <laughs> times these teams have matched up, Turtle. And now the sixth is here in the grand final. Space Station versus Fury. Oh man, I can barely contain my excitement right now. This is going to be one heck of a series and potentially two if we get that juicy bracket reset, Jorby. And oh my word, we've also got a lot of rookies as well in this grand finals. All three members on Furia. This is their first North American Grand Finals. And as well on the other side, we've got Hawkster and LJ. This is their first Grand Finals in this region as well. And it is going to be a doozy of a matchup and Card already starting us out with a bang. A doozy for sure. One from Card to start it out. Hawkster losing control of that, trying to play quickly out of the corner. A nice little dish to squeeze it in against LJ. If three out of the nine regionals this season, Turtle, in North America have been won by import teams. Fioria could uh, could make it their fourth. Sorry, yep. technically it's three out of eight, because this is the ninth. But it just goes to show you the impact that import teams continue to have in the North American region. But you know, the Space Station natives, if you will, have put on quite a performance this split, and they've owned this Fioria matchup right up until this regional. Well, Fioria were able to take them down in the upper final. Yeah. Well, it was a close one. LJ getting knocked out here. And they also got completely denied in that game seven previously that we saw today. But they had to go to the distance. And I, I truly believe that it comes down to a good start for Space Station Gaming. They also had a slow start against Optic. They lost it for the first two games, called the timeout, and were able to flip the script, reverse things for a little bit. But for the most part, getting that early start at least one out of the two games at the beginning of this series I think is crucial from Space Station Gaming. They've had such a difficulty finding a good rhythm. Even in game number one, things have been difficult for them to break out. It's just been one clear all the way down the other side, but no possession for Space Station Gaming. Fioria have a chance to lock in that number two seed if they end up winning this series, but Space Station gonna make that target. difficult. Hawkster puts in one and ties it up for Space Station. Yeah, look at Arsenal go. There's a demo rotating back. Arsenal gets bumped out the play, but with that demo, there's so much space for everybody else on Space Station Gaming to connect with it, have an open shot, and equalize the scoreboard. I think for Space Station, they've had some tough series today, and I think it just speaks to their mental fortitude, be able to withstand, you know, being down 0-3, also withstand the demolition derby that Optic gave them in the last series. Yeah, that mental resilience can take you really far, and I think that has been part of what has impressed me so much about this Space Station team. Impressive as well is their goal line defense. Right. The Hawks are trying to push that one down after that goal line save, but Lost pushing it forward off the wall, and no one from Fioria able to commit. You also know that Space Station Gaming are going to be hungry. I think if they got, you know, swept by Furia, you might see a different Space Station Gaming who, who's a little bit more fearful in these challenges and spooked mentally out of Furia. But they brought it within just one game, and that's in a reverse sweep in a best of seven. So things could be different. They just get a better start against Furia, and now they've at least built their way back up on the offensive side as we approach oh, the that? second half. That's a good bounce, and for a second, we thought it was going to roll in. Looked like it was going to, but it bounced right off the post. And Arsenal, here he goes again. How many times has he scored from that position? It looks unscorable. Yeah. Unless you're Arsenal, of course. Then your car is actually a plow. It'd be, it'd be cool to have like a plow in the game. Okay. Probably okay. a fan of hip hop. New right? idea. Arsenal. New idea. Look at him go. He's just a plow, bro. He's a one man <laughs> army going down the corner. It doesn't matter how many guys you stack against him. All three Furia cars are there, but they what? can't stop him. What is that movement behind the ball, too? First, he got the wave dash on the left side, went under it, scooped out into the corner, and landed on the backboard. That is some ridiculous maneuvering just to get through and in between every player on Furia, and he barely had any boost to work with. Space Station take a late lead here in game one. And trying to delay the push here from Space Station off the kickoff. Hawkson wanted a soft touch pass, but Arsenal is playing deep. Now he has to 
Help Space Station retreat. Here comes Furia. Lost underneath. What's the bump? He takes Hawkster out, but then hits the ball on his way out. Lost. He has been physical this tournament as well. This time, though, it works against him. It's a good midfield boost grab, though, from Yan, but it's actually not going to end up paying dividends as Arsenal. Good interception, reading the play well. And it's been back and forth between the last, I'd say, 60 seconds. Oh. That's a quick oh. shot on target. LJ from behind the ball. Bro, that is a disgusting angle, LJ. Oh. Uh, come on, Hoxter just sets that up, and LJ's like, yeah, easy read. That's unfair. That's unfair. I mean, no one able to challenge him either. You see Lost going back. The only way you stop that is you just got to get to the ball, but everyone was still rotating back on Furia. Lost was coming back around the corner, protecting on the wall. Not a hard redirect to hit at all, but still, nasty angle for Lost to grab sitting on the back wall. And I don't think anybody from Furia expected it, too. Nine times out of ten, it feels like a player will go for that midfield pass. Good shot on target. Saved again from Hoxer and LJ. Both of them exchanging goal line touches to keep them in the lead by two and hold on to some security in game one. Just find a way to make some magic on the goal line, don't they? Now Arsenal forces lost out. Furia help them out. They're running out of time. Yan last behind the ball. Trying to find Lost. Lost up high. Forcing Arsenal to challenge. Right side shot, Furia get within one. Oh, and this is a huge defensive mistake here on the backboard. I think it was Arsenal with 20 boost, didn't have enough to catch up to the ball. And that's also a flawless bounce to go down and out, straight into the, the front hood, excuse me, of card. And Furia, 28 seconds within one, Jorby. See what they do here. You get advantage on the kickoff. Loss just dumps the ball out. Arsenal keeps it tight. Loss trying to close the gap. Card tried to close the gap. Now Lost and Card in their own corner. Space Station wastes some time on the next clear. Final oh. 10. Arsenal? Oh, what? They got it! What? Arsenal gets down in front, finds the goal for Space Station. Hawks oh, the field. No. And that's the classic oh. Furia. Everybody driving up field. Oh, no time left. No. Card full faith. And uh, his prayers were not answered. Feel for Card in that situation. He pushed forward expecting that challenge to at least be a solid 50 50 and not go directly in favor of Space Station Gaming. He trusted his teammates, pushed forward, and all their chances of tying things up in game one come to a crumbling end. Space Station Gaming, this is the first game one win they've had all day in both best of sevens they've played. <laughs> That's uh, pretty funny, considering how Space Station have looked. You know, you'd think they'd be winning the majority of those game ones, but you're absolutely right about both of the series that they've played, and they've just looked excellent throughout, not just this tournament, but the entire split. Arsenal getting those MVP honors, starting the goal scoring for his team. Two chances that he's just rolling the ball around the corner on the back wall and somehow gets it over. And then you got LJ with the aerial play, Hoxer, who just never seems to be out of position. And this Space Station team is just such a hard nut to crack when they start on the right wheel. They didn't last time against Furia in the upper final. This time, it's a lot different. Yeah, and I'm also so impressed with the speed that we're seeing out of Space Station Gaming and their ability to hold on to a lot of the boost. You saw what happens whenever you're running out. Arsenal was the only player I, I saw at a moment where he didn't have enough boost to make a touch and Furia were able to punish. So picking up these small pads, finding good rotations into the boost is crucial. And Space Station Gaming have it on lock at this moment. Game two might be a different story, but Furia, they've got to make some adjustments, Jorby. What can Furia do? You talk about that opportunity at the end of the game for Space Station, but that was desperation mode for Furia. Either way, you're right. They're going to have to find a way to beat this Space Station back line. Seems not impenetrable at times. And then they just smack you in the mouth in the blue half. A bunch of demos. Arsenal with the catch. Hoxer, he just can't stop. And Lost has to desperately throw the ball away. LJ hard off the wall. Yam yeah, barely gets there. Furia getting pushed back to the wall. No answer right now for the pressure on Space Station. LJ. Arsenal building the gauge. That would get getting a little tricksy there with LJ coming a little early for Arsenal's pass. Now Lost Ooh. on the counter. Card misses. Nice little transition from Furia, the give and go, but unfortunately there's nobody there to find the execution. You could have caught Space Station Gaming too far forward and overcommitting, but 
Nobody in position off the backboard. This could be it if Card can put something on target. Yeah, Ooh. from the backboard, the pack pass into Lost, but still red. I don't even know how Space Station Gaming can predict where Fury are moving with the ball. Great layering on defense. Lost had nowhere to shoot that ball. He even try he tried to go for the weak side shot, but the Space Station car was all over it. Now Hawkster right, wants LJ, LJ, but he's only got 26. Make it, making it work. Let's it drop back to Arsenal. Arsenal still pulling Yan off, and Yan able to get back to the ball, but they're losing boost. Lost can't even get a clear. They're just clamping them down easily right now. Hawkster drops it. Inferior break breakout here. Big miss from Hawkster in the midfield. That's going to give an opportunity for Fury to hold some possession. And indeed, they do card up in the air early. Double commit now for Space Station Gaming. I think a big clear would benefit Fury to come back on a transition, but that bounce was perfect for Space Station. And they will see more and more time wasted. But another transition card back and forth game, Jorby. It looks like Furia waiting to find an execution. They're oh. knocking on the door, but they can't get any accurate shots on. And Lost jumped early at that play. Yan going for the double. Lost had jumped before it was completed. It bounces away from him. And he ended up ineffective in the rotation. On the dribble, Hawks was not letting him out. Space Station's game plan against Furia. Don't give them space. They haven't given them any. Fury have gotten choked out so far, despite being able to kill the ball on defense, yeah. set up an opportunity. Once they get to the orange half, everything tightens up a lot more, and it becomes a lot harder to find space. Fury, they're trying to identify. That's a good ball. That's it. it. That's it. And Card collects the first for Fury. If your shots aren't going through, just pave the path yourself with a bump. And this is lost behind the ball, and he had many options. You saw he could have gone for a dribble, tried to get past that last man behind the ball, but he left it, allowed it to float down in front of the net, takes the goalkeeper out, and you've got Furia scoring first. But Space Station are right here with a fast arsenal too deep. Card easily cuts it out. Forces Space Station back to the corner. Even on the backside, Furia having to avoid demo attempts from Space Station. Can they do here on defense? Is there Arsenal with no boost? You see the respect. Yan gonna push it downfield. Card full tank, looking for a Pass. double. He's not gonna get it. Two committed from Space Station. Yan gonna win the touch, but only 14 boosts. Trying to roll it around, no good. Furious still hanging on to this ball. But Card that actually works out for him. It rolls back right in the loss. It's getting scary for Space Station gaming. I'm trying to pay attention to most of the boost consumption. Looks like they're getting starved out. Card right here is going to take a corner boost back into the midfield. And of course, it's going to be dominated by Furia taking boost, Whoa! taking shots, hitting the corner, and letting it roll in. Two for Card on the redirect this time. Space Station rotating back. LJ trying to cover the in, and he just misses on the challenge. Ooh! And Hawks are no chance for him to get back. Not even a bad set there from Space Station. Just a precise pass and a powerful shot. And also a precise shot. I mean, you're, you're getting power, you're getting accuracy. That's everything you could have wanted out of that play from Furia. Two goals for Card. The striker for Furia. And we need an answer. Time is running out for Space Station Gaming. Ooh. They want to have a retaliation in game two, and they're getting blocked out. Space Station, sometimes they just close it down. They play so tight on offense. You'll see. We saw Hawkster last time, and a lot of times it's LJ who will just screen across the goal line on offense and just jump at the ball in the box. Just try to create some havoc. Maybe you get a good 50 out of it. Here's LJ. Back to Hawkster! You can't count him out! They split the lead. Thriving off this chaos. LJ looking for the boost. He cuts in rotation. Hawkster as well sees Arsenal's back. He can turn around and Card is faced with a reverse situation. And backing it up as much as you want is not going to work out. One goal for Space Station Gaming is all they need to get back into this game. Hard. Look, good here in game two with his two goals, but also a couple 50s like that. It's a loose ball! Ooh. Into the net! Yam yeah, shows up! Yeah, and this is crucial. 31 on the clock. You've got to get a goal to secure this game. Arsenal up early, tried to go for a 50-50. Maybe he anticipated a quicker Yan up on that challenge. I think it was trying to cover the seal, maybe the ceiling touch for control. Yeah. Some kind really of tried to get above Yan on that play. Awkward situation, regardless. I think Space Station Gaming might have to kiss game two goodbye. 
See what they can do. Boxer, try from his own corner. He's got Arsenal on the wing. But immediately challenged and into it. the net That's by it. Yan, and that just made end it here on Forbidden Temple. Yeah, the defense from Furia. You know, there were a couple of weird mistakes, specifically from Card, I thought was kind of confused on a lot of rotations, but his teammates certainly had his back, and Card was also finishing a lot on the offensive side to give them the security to make those mistakes. I, I think we got a long series ahead of us, Jorby. I think we might. Some of the other matches today are anything to go back. If the last time these two teams met is anything to go yeah. by. You know we're in for a long one. Oh, Card trying to put in another one. Yes, oh, that's him up. A little oh. bit of BM to end the game with a scuffle step. Five goals heading into game three. This is just toxic. This is toxic right now. You can't be doing this to Arsenal. You're living in their heads rent free now, heading into the next game. What a way to end it off. Space Station were able to be as successful on offense that time. Yam will get the MVP honors for all those goals at the end, but Card. Definitely led the pack there and yeah. lost with his three assists. I think really sells the wow. story of that game. For... 17 shots, Jorby, for Fury yeah. against That's... the five of Space Station gaming. And yeah, Space Station didn't have that same goal line either. No. A lot of times the I mean, they're, they're, they're getting knocked off the goal line like that in the Mobile One High Performance Replay. You see him leave the ball, opt to be more creative. And to be honest with you, we started this game out and, and it looked like Space Station were reading everything Furia had to offer. They were uh, somehow predicting the passing lanes every single shot, at least in the first two minutes. But once Furia broke out, Space Station started to panic a little bit and ran out of boost towards the end. I just want to say previously pictured, look, look, look at that like very U.S. American chair right there. For anyone who's like, no, Furia are a SAM team. They're an NA team. <laughs> They're both. All right. You can, they, they can be both. Clearly, this team thinks that we have no more arguments. Let's keep going. Fioria, <laughs> Space Station. The Five chair series. speaks for itself, all right? <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're focused on. Game three, Jorby. We got back and forth so far. I like Ooh. retaliation, and it looks like Fury are just going to pick up right where they left off. Well, the king has shown up in this series so far. Nice little soft touch, and then that continuing touch mm. as he came up off the ceiling. Just keeps the speed, but also keeps control. And he gets the flip onto it. What a perfect carry from Carr. And you've also got to stay behind the ball. It's so easy to let that ball get too far forward. You lose control and you can't get a solid follow-up. Well done from the mechanical guru Carr. Loss getting a quick 50. Actually some time here. Loss getting a full tank off the ceiling. Carr on the wing. Loss through one. Doesn't quite get the bump. How about that? Cry from Loss. He's been hitting highlight real goals like that one and passes like that. And his story has been a difficult one. Moving to North America in winter, didn't have a great split. In spring, it's been a slow come up for him. Not perfect by any means, but this tournament, this, this feels like this is, this is his real debut onto the team, or at least the, the quality that people may have expected yeah. when he first joined. And he is part of that now on Furia, but Space Station, their own pickup in Hoxter has been quite the boon to them. They need a little more offense here. Unable to generate a shot with the pressure they put on the first 30 seconds. And yeah, this entire split, in all honesty, for both of these teams has just been nothing but progress moving forward. I mean, you look at Space Station Gaming as an example. They came in the top four in the first regional, then top three in the Spring Cup. Moving into the Invitational down, they're guaranteed at least top two. These guys have been paving a way, and now they're paving a path to that save on the goal line. But still hungry for their first goal in game number three, Jorby. LJ saving his dodge to get through, and tripping, lost up, hitting the break. Another pass to Arsenal. Gets underneath, but Yan somehow shovels it out. Gets deleted by Arsenal. Here comes LJ. Base Station starting to threaten. Oh, it pops right off the wall. Lost with no boost. Hopes that Yan can help him out. Hoxter, nothing for him. Looks like Card's ball, but it's not straight back to Hoxter. Lost gets in front of the 50. That's LJ's ball. One, and Card steals it, completely killed it, and denies the follow-up from Arsenal. Look at the composure from Card to stay ah. behind the ball. And now he's also intercepting somebody from LJ who can't get it off the backboard. Arsenal is getting a demo. LJ's harassing Lost. Surely this is supposed to be a goal, but Lost stays alive, dodges the demo, and keeps Furia up ahead.
His mask was just too hot. What? He couldn't push him. He couldn't push him. There's far no enough. way. Wait, LJ. The redirect, but it's wide. Lost immediately up for it. Space Station have been priming. They haven't been able to deliver the goal yet. That one, another hard clear. Denied by LJ. Hard and Yan, hard. Hit Hawkster back to the side. Space Station Gaming are doing everything right, Jorby. They're looking for demos, moving the ball well, finding passes. Even the solo opportunities are there, but the defense from Furia is just that strong. And now it looks like you're going to have to go back to the drawing board for something even more creative than your SSG. And I don't even know what that would look like at this moment. Lost going for the corner read. He's not going to get it. Space Station looking for a way in. Arsenal just may have found it. Hawks are trying to bully Card, but Card just barely gets out of it. There's that demo avoidance we're talking about again. Space Station collect one though. Arsenal, he collects two. Lost spawns right in the rotation. Danger is right, right. Finally the shot for Arsenal! Space Station on the board! I saw two demos and I'm still not convinced he can get through Furia. But Hawkster, he's got other plans with that beautiful pass all the way across, sliding to the front of Arsenal. And you've got the whole right side of the net to shoot at and they will work very hard to get their first goal, Space Station Gaming. With a little bit of time left, they can continue forward, and they're getting more and more demos, Jorby. They're like a carousel of bumper cars. They're just absolutely dizzying them really fast, and uh, an ever-present sense of an impending collision. It's inevitable when Space Station yeah. get down the field on the blue half, and they go again. LJ trying to push card off the ball. Dan, going to find his man. Hawkster just kills it, forced from back. Boss avoids another demo. Gets back to the challenge. Yan gets the follow-up. Space Station trying to protect the ball. Hawks are trying to get away from Yan. Guard in front of it. And Space Station survive. These really tough pushes from Furia. Pushing multiple Space Station cards back into the corner. Yeah. They're able to thwart another hard shot tonight. Ooh. by Lost. This feels like the first two minutes of the last game. Space Station Gaming predicting how Furia want to move the ball. Like this read from Arsenal over down to Hawks, or look at that movement in a clean transition. LJ also pre-jumped it, getting very confident on the other side of the field, but now you've got a whole team of Fury to deal with, and Lost is bumping you out the way. Card goes in for the 50-50. This is anybody's game within the final 15 seconds, Whoa. and it might just slip in Yan. He secures it with 14 to go. Yan gets the goal here. Card gets a perfect bounce off the ramp. Shuffles up the pass, LJ gets there, but it's too little, too late. And Furia take the lead late. Space Station, do they have something on the kickoff? Gotta do something special. Try to maintain possession, get this ball down the other side. You've got maybe one solid opportunity, or else this series will shift in favor again for Furia. Oh. And they're the team that doesn't need to get the bracket reset. Space Station game and keep the ball up. And now smacked down, Furia take game number three. Two more for Furia. And in their first grand final appearance in North America, they will have their first victory. But the work isn't done for them. Space Station very much alive in the series, very much a threat every single second. Oh yeah. I mean, they, they had to work so hard for that first goal. Think back to the demos. I mean, we had all three players of Fury keeping their heads on a swivel, looking out for when and where Space Station Gaming are gonna attempt to get the demo, get the bump plays. And even through all of that, Furia can stand tall after game three. And this is not a bad showing at all from Space Station Gaming. I, I don't really know too much of what they could improve on right now. It just comes down to Maybe the timing of the demos coming through, but there's still not much to harp on. This is just such a close series, Jorby. No timeout from Space Station. They've already uh, taken their positions in the lobby. They're ready to go. They're fired up. But Space Station, they're the number one seed. You know, there's not much for Space Station to really play for, except for pride. And uh, people might I mean, not think. People yeah, that, might not that think prize the pride goes a long goes way. Crazy. The prize it goes a long way. Are you, are you forgetting about the cash? The cash flow? I mean, come on, uh, man. No, look, look. This is esports, man. There's so much ego in this league, okay? I'm, mean, not, it, I'm not I'm not. saying anyone in particular. I'm saying all of you. I'm just but, saying you win I'm this tournament, Jorby, and you could go and put like a down payment on a house, okay? If that's not motivation, I don't know what is. That's a lot of money. You're right. <laughs> Both teams, obviously more than joy that they're going to Boston. No doubt for both teams. They'd love to prove to everybody else that Space Station 
You want that win to prove that you do deserve that one seed. Not that they don't think they do. They obviously do. Furia got to be feeling the same. Lost tries to move this ball downfield. Lost looking for a pass out. Immediately challenged by LJ. Yan deleted. Space Station take control. That's a good turn from Card, but it wasn't quick enough. LJ. Oh, that's a big whiff to transition. And now they're getting caught all the way forward. One opportunity on the other end leads to your downfall. Oh, poor Hawkster. He turned the cam off. He knew the bump was coming. Had to avoid the bump, and he only had like eight boosts before that happened. Though so he got taken off his path, made it easy for Lost to get across. And what is Hawkster supposed to do? You gotta dive in front, try to get to the ball. Nothing much he could do after that. Looks like Furia really want to end this day quickly. But of course not give any chances over to Space Station Gaming to get that bracket reset. I know I know Gibbs is a little bit happy. It's Father's Day. He probably wants to, you know, go kick his feet back. But with this insane amount of Rocket League, I honestly just want more. Space Station, they've already come back one time. Used to say they can't do it again. Arsenal got a nice kick. Oxford just going to come in. Arsenal called off on the play. LJ Rhodes pinning deep in the rotation. Space Station keep this rhythm going. There's a bit of pause here. Oxter wins against one. Here he comes. Oxter. A big bump off the bar. <laughs> Everyone's still too far back from Space Station. LJ was playing backside of Hawkster rather than forward on the play. And third man was also too far wide the other way. Now Yan's got control. He's got a reset. Yeah, here he comes, but no goal. Card tried to pave a path. I mean, think about the recovery from Furia right now. They're getting demoed. They're forced to go for a couple of double commits in the air. And they still managed to get back into rotation in a matter of what feels like milliseconds, but hold on, 2v1, one goes for the bump card, can't get there in time, Space Station Gaming equalized. Space Station, a big goal there, and Cardi tried to flip back, LJ was already there, and Arsenal already had the edge against him. The product of Card being a little too close to the play, with both Yan and Lost up there. We called them out for that already a couple of times today. Yeah. Or really, in this series, not even just today. Yan going for the quick shot, and a card dumps LJ right into the net. Redemption for a card, and look at this read. It looks like he jumped into a time machine and read the shot from LJ flawlessly. He says, thank you very much. I'll take that as a pass and smack it into your own net. Just like that. I think Space Station might kill the momentum. Furia find a way to get the engine rolling. Immediately, lost around the corner. For him, Space Station surviving on defense. Numbers are dwindling. Lost up high. Oh, down low and taken away. LJ gets a perfect follow up from Hoxter. Lost coming back again. Back to Yan. It's not over for Furia. LJ's missed the ball. Hoxter's too deep. Now Card has it. He wants Card. the bump. He wants he the demo. He's still Arsenal. A dump, but it doesn't go into the net. It's back the other side. Somehow Arsenal keeps Space Station within one. There's just too many layers on this SSG defense. They're going to have to work even harder. One bump isn't enough. And now there's a chance for Space Station Gaming. They don't have to climb over two goals. It's just one that they need to tie things up, and they've got some possession to work with. Pick up card after the demo. Tip pass over to Yan. Yan trying to get control, but he gets deleted instead. Maybe a chance here for Space Station if we can find a way around Card. A lot of boost to catch up to this. 50 goes hard out. Now does Space Station get the breakout here? He can do a little bit more. Back forward, back wall, well protected by Furia. Yan and Card stacking up. Not letting him forward in front of the box. Hawkster wow. anticipating Card bringing that out a little bit oh, more. Card keeps it close to the wall. Now they break out. Yan, hard touch, but LJ is up to the pass. The ability for Furia right now, especially Card in that situation, to carry it out by himself. That's a 1v2 situation. He got over one player on SSG, then won the 50-50 in the corner. Yan is also intercepting touches, and Card outpacing the striker. Everybody on Furia is doing their job on this defensive side, but how long will it last? One mistake, and they might be looking at OT in game number four. Lost looking a little hoppy when he's off ball on the goal line, but they break out. Very able to stabilize momentarily. LJ, little wave dash chip. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? Okay, he got the 50. That was a crazy progression there from LJ. That dude's nuts. 
Yeah, he, I mean, he, he just wants a 1v3. There's a demo. Arsenal is again. Up high. He wants the double, but why do we keep testing the backboard? If you're SSG, it's been on lock every time from Furia. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on there? What? Well, they might take that. Boxer putting it back up. Space Station looking for the end of regulation drill. Arsenal. Trying to keep it close. He's got the boost. He got the ball back to Hoxer. No time. Man. No game for Space Station. And one more for Fioria. Match point. One game away from Fioria winning their first North American regional event. And they have that backboard, that entire defense locked down, Jorby. Space Station were trying, throwing several different tactics, but at the end of the day, we need something more creative, and now apparently we're getting the timeout that maybe we would have seen in the previous game. Teams are 0-18 oh, after calling no. a timeout when they're down one to three. Just wanna point oh. that. I don't even I didn't D-Rec didn't even type that in. I still remember it from they're, yesterday. They're 0 and 18, you said. 0 oh, and 18! Okay, okay. Hey, but this is Sad Jr. This is why you picked up this man. Fruit. He has been the leading force and look at that ever since he joined the team. And look at that keyboard. Maybe he could serenade them a little bit with some jams, all right? Never yeah, know what get, could happen. Get the musical rhythms going. Yeah. Maybe something will work. Well, look, light, PlayStation, the they were down, they were down 0-3 and still forced game seven against Fury Assault. They still have and that. This, Torben, going this doesn't for make any sense. This doesn't make any sense because I thought that after a game one win for Space Station Gaming, I was expecting it to be completely different. They had such a horrible start. They almost reverse swept against Furia in a best of seven. So you're thinking surely after they win the first game and have a solid start, it's gonna pan out completely different. But Furia have stepped up on all sides of this field. You know, talking to Mateus in their post game interview, talked about how the pressure got to them in, in previous tournaments in previous regionals how he, he had to talk to lost lost a lot Mateus talked about how literally in the middle of a scrim if lost made a mistake like uh, he was he was saying like hey like we talked about this not like that so like a lot of workshopping there with lost and, and trying to relax him in those pressure moments yeah and this is what they're doing right here cardi's relaxing speaking of relaxing that's yeah. what they need they need to relax hands like, off the I'm, controller I'm focus on your breathing and that's the most important thing now nah, you know you know you got you got the American flag chair. You got good vibes. Now, I don't think it's gonna be the same thing for Space Station Gaming. I'm sure the the air is very tense right now as you've got one last shot to to try and get back into this series. You can't drop a game, otherwise you're losing this tournament. You might have gotten the number one seed, but like you mentioned, the pride, the prize pool, it's all on the line. It can flip so quickly though, can't it? Despite Furia up 3-1 as we head to Oasis. It's been tight. One goal games. Demos missed by inches. Space Station literally a couple degrees away from a couple of game wins. Can they turn the angle a little bit and align their planets? Space Station Gaming trying to stay alive in the tournament. Our little Boston Primer, if you will. We still got one more match after this today if you're watching. Phase versus Gen G, the yep. tiebreaker to decide our last team who's going to Boston. Car you don't want to miss that oh, one. Oh, oh. And you also don't want to miss LJ oh, across man. the backboard. You know you might miss something great. That's another opportunity. I feel like LJ just keeps opting to go for the backboard in Space Station Gaming. This has been the story all series long. It looks like they're going to get a goal. They inch up forward, and then it's a quick, speedy transition from Furia that catches them way out of line. It was that bounce. Hoxter was anticipating a different bounce in, in the midfield. Then Arsenal has to cover for him. Hoxter has no boost. That's a good kickoff. So he can't do anything. Now the kickoff. Wow. And Furia take two goals. I think Furia are believers right now. Two massive goals at the start of game five. And it's match point. Furia, they've got security. They've got the first two goals. At this point, all they've got to do is hold on. And you know, for a fact, it's not going to be that easy for Space Station Gaming to just keep putting shots up. Fury are gonna bring that offense and be relentless with it. Big kickoff from Fury as well, but maybe try to catch Space Station off guard. Space Station have handled it. They still gotta handle the Fury of pressure. Nice catch. Then Oxer, uh, the demo on card. Gan using the chain dash to catch up to the play. Causing a little bit of havoc, but not enough. 
Card gonna dive onto it as well. Lost. Here comes Lost on the 50. LJ ain't gonna let it happen. Yeah, quick shot denied again. This time by Hawkster. Space Station looking for a way out. Clinical saves out of Space Station. Gave me to let this not get out of hand, but as I say that card, three to nothing. Furia can do no wrong. It's his kingdom. He wears the crown, and he defeats Hawkster to the ball to put Furia up by three. This is Kingdom. We're just living in it right now. King Card ascending on match point. Hungry. They want their first North American regional win. And they're three minutes and 40 Whoa. seconds away. But with a demo of good bounce as well, LJ has the read. And we've got ourselves a ball game. When in doubt, demo. It works again on the back side. No one back to cover for Peoria. Leaves a free net for Arsenal. Uh, and he didn't hit it, so LJ took the freebie. <laughs> And I'm not exactly sure what happened to Yan there in that replay. Yan was just flying out of the frame. He might have gotten bumped or just not had the speed and or boost to get up to the, ch the challenge. But we'll see now if that lights the fire beneath Space Station Gaming's wings. They needed something and they're lucky to get a good early response. Space Station, gonna bring it back. The Furia aren't unknown to give up three goal leads. They did it against FaZe. I think it actually happened the last two times they played face. But here they come. Card Yan trying to link up. Doesn't work out. Hawks are already downfield. Kick to LJ. But he lost it. Made it easy for Lost. Arsenal trying to cut it down. Hawks are full tank of boost on the other side. Up in there for Space Station just yet. Hawks are and LJ playing tight on the rotation. LJ feeding, but Lost steals his food. Furia just may break out here on the demo. This is painful to watch for Space Station Gaming. I'm seeing LJ behind the ball several times. He's had so many opportunities, Jorby, but I feel like he's just not connecting the way he wants to with the ball and as well as with his teammates. So somebody else has to step up Arsenal into the midfield. LJ backs off of the pass, wasn't aggressive with him, and they continue to try an Arsenal and mechanical whip. Things crumbling for Space Station Gaming when they need everything to go right. It's disjointed a little bit. The passes aren't connecting. LJ, no boost, tried for the pinch quite get what he wanted. Hard again, shutting him down. Got the 50. And just kicks the ball away. Now Furia. Bump, <laughs> bump does make up for it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give Space Station free chances. Been... Oh! Oh! oh, my God! Oh! He's just an astronaut playing volleyball on the moon! I called... <laughs> oh, my goodness! I called him out. I wanted him to step up, and what does he do? He goes from the ceiling down and gets the pre-jump shot. You can't get any better than that, LJ. Two goals for Space Station Gaming. They're only within one. LJ up there looking like a UFO. Oh, Here we were like, goodness. what the heck is that? Why is he there? He shouldn't oh, have been there. Man. He shouldn't have, and that's exactly why it worked. LJ non-touch, but that works out. Furia. Losing the momentum quickly, Arsenal. That one popped up, but lost first to the ball. And Hawkster shutting it down. Card was already downfield. Hawkster puts it in a perfect spot, space in the rotation. LJ ends up losing that one. Arsenal filing in behind Hawkster. LJ getting physical in the box. Such an aggressive rotation from Space Station. Not the second, the third man, fast denied by Lost. Arsenal, 12 boost. Gets the pop over. The next one. <laughs> Space Station 3 on answer! And they're doing it through the flames. The demo from LJ, he steps up again. Arsenal hits the brakes after getting the corner boost. And they continue to go on a rampage on this Furia defense. Nothing can stop them. Space Station is saying, wait, 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 wait. Not quite over. Yeah. And LJ, I, I can't believe it. This man is getting so much more confidence. He was struggling at the beginning half of this game to be so many chances. And here he is making up for it, being the all-star. <laughs> Maybe he can get the fourth goal too. Space Station Gaming, but you gotta be careful. Remember, they yep. can get caught off guard and caught too far forward. That kept plaguing them in the previous games. Now look out for ice cold man himself, Yan. He gets any 1v1 opportunity Yan, he's from up. the box. Up in there for him. Hawks are there to cut him off. Lost. Maybe gets the 50 there. Not much developing for Fioria. Card has to work the ball in the corner. And again, Space Station take control. Fioria got that the first three goals in succession. At the beginning of this game, 
but they have fizzled out. And we've barely seen anything from them on offense so far. LJ looking to ignite the defense of Furia even more with all of these demos, but 10 seconds remaining. Yan, can he do it? Not to for him. Card trying. Yan, the least one. Card oh. tries to screen it, but there's nothing for him. Lost has to turn back. Oh man, Lost Let is it getting drop. anxious too. He boosted through every boost pad pickup. OT, golden goal for Furia. The regional win. Second seed on the line, and Lost gets bumped off the kickoff. Hawkster, nice catch and a nice flick. Keeps Space Station in it. Here he comes. Hard the hit. Back for the bump. Oh, man. Robbed indeed. Crossbar and out. And you're going to want another stab at that if you're Space Station Gaming, but you're not done yet. Furia didn't able, or weren't able, excuse me, to find a transition. But they're going to keep knocking. And maybe they'll find something that they've been looking for all game long. It's been centuries, it feels like, since we saw a good opportunity for them. Space Station closing down the available territory. Again, having to fend off a bump. Hard oh. having to fend off LJ. And they forced to dump the ball out. Fear of getting demoed. Arsenal next up. His field. weapon, LJ, who continues to pepper Furious back wall. Here comes Arsenal again. He got corner. another good 50 for LJ. Hoxter in the air! Oh. Oh. Yes. They just don't know when to give up, when to quit. Space Station Gaming. They were down three goals and they still battled back and won it in overtime. You can't count these guys out yet. This series continues. It was too powerful for Space Station. Full belief. And how about Hawkster dropping the 713? Two goals on four shots, but also Three all of, of I mean, yes, come this. On. All assisted oh my for goodness. Space Station. And honestly, if you could give a second assist out for a goal, you'd have to for how many bumps and demos helped out Space Station on their and offense. Specifically, LJ, I'm telling you, I I feel bad. I started roasting my boy LJ at the beginning of this game. I, I didn't know he what showed he was you. behind the ball. He, he showed you. He absolutely shut me up 100%. I don't think I should speak for the rest of the series. I'm sure a lot oh, no, of you should would, definitely speak. would like that. I don't know. It might be beneficial, but either way, LJ, he stepped up when he needed to. And they, they made it hard for themselves, Joby. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they needed to make it that difficult. But it provided to be quite an entertaining game of Rocket League. God, that that ceiling. LJ, just with the mid mid pass from Hawks or the mid air pass. I mean, that was, look, that's, no, that's, the, that's the that stuff. That changed everything. That that's changed the stuff everything. of a major contending team right there. That's what that is. I we love watching space. Boston, I love watching space upset. station play. If we don't see those plays in Boston, I'm going to be upset. If we don't see those plays in this next game, I'm going to be upset because this has been such a treat to watch. Game number six, Neo Tokyo. We're still on match point though for Furia. One game away from oh. a South American dub and one game away from a game seven. Card back to loss. A Furia. Already getting chips around. Finding it difficult to get by. It, it, talked about it a little bit. That physical game from Space Station. Oh, oh wait, start never again. mind. Never mind. Loss is just moving around the pitch himself, and he will open the scoring here for Furia. And Yan was looking for a demo. He did get one on the goal line. And what is that catch on the backboard from Lost to get behind the ball, use up all his boost? I mean, it was made impossible just because of the demo, but that control is otherworldly. Yan tried for the bump. LJ's lost it. And Arsenal having to grab a bouncer. He's got Hawkster to support him. Fiori have been able to score quickly. We're hanging on to the lead. A different story in at least two of these games. Space Station trying to force another game seven. And this is truly the marathon yeah. run for this team. Not only do they have to force game seven, they have to win the series and then win another series if they have hopes of being a regional winner. But to be honest, I don't, I don't doubt that that possibility I for Space look. Station. And, and yeah. that's ever more the reason for Furia to close this game while you have the chance before Space Station Gaming starts snowballing. Because you never know what can happen when they start to get more and more confident. Arsenal, a confident flip reset here. LJ with a bump. 
And look at that third man placement from Hoxha. You remember previously in the beginning of this series, they'd push two players forward and that third man would be caught off a little bit too far forward and Fury got some free goals. They've definitely adjusted here for Space Station. Meanwhile, Fury's rotation is disjointed a little too wide. They're starting to shore it up now though. Yan avoids the bump, but Hoxter, last line of defense, good enough for Space Station. Just a chip there from Lost. Here you're trying to find a way to set up here on offense. It's tough though, this Space Station defensive line moves like water. Oh yeah. It can be really hard to get a good grasp of Liquid. If you've ever tried grabbing Liquid, uh, good luck. That one let go. <laughs> I mean, Lost going to kick it up high again, but Fury had nothing, nothing for him. They're really shape-shifting with their approach on defense. That's a double commit, though. Not the fastest follow-up from Lost. And here comes the transition. Flowing like water indeed, but an even better read. We're getting back and forth. Clears. Not one team can hold on to possession, Woo! but one team has a shot, and that's Fury, a slightly wide. And holding that covered. Had to go far side of the net. Just couldn't put it on target. Arsenal got the bump on Yan, but Yan still got the touch. LJ, Arsenal's number up one. there. Arsenal in the air! Yan got bumped! My goodness! Their team play is phenomenal! Look, Look at Arsenal! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at him just park his car above the goal line. You can't even expect to see him up there because the camera's not going to show him. You're paying attention to the ball, but little do you know that it's raining down Arsenal and you're getting bumped out the way. They're, they're playing 4D chess like they're mind-reading aliens. It's like, they're unpredictable. You just don't know what's going to happen, and oh. you, you don't know how to defend it. Here's another one for Fiori on the Woo! And Lost collects the goal! A little bit of payback, taste of your own medicine, finally getting some bumps. LJ's alone on the defensive side, and Lost lands down on the ground and knocks both of them out of the way for that save. Space Station for all the effort having to constantly fight back yeah. from one goal down. Here comes LJ, though, wins a clean kickoff. Nice from LJ. It was a good try. Bro, I like the idea of killing Card, the what? Card has 14 what? points. How does Card have 14 points and donuts across the board? What is going on? Hawkster looking for the top right corner. This game, how does I don't even know how to make it make sense. And if he gets this goal, he can kiss those 14 points goodbye. He now 16. he's got 16. There we go. He's racking it up. Oh, what is that? about 20. Wait, 18? Every touch is two points. This is ridiculous. Now another one. Here comes Yan. Trying to help him out. Space Station. It doesn't really matter how many points you have if your team is in the lead. Space Station trying to end that one. Yeah, gets bumped. Yeah, got bumped. Arsenal. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. Arsenal yeah. bounces off the post and Yan just landed. It was an in and out save. He dodged the demo, I believe, and landed right where that ball hit. They are still alive, still in the lead. Space Station Gaming, what more do they need to break through? Somehow stop the disaster before it happened. And now, Space Station, trying to unfurl this offense. LJ, can't quite get it going. Still, they rock around the corner. Boxer denied, lost with a full tank of boosts. Furia also struggling to get that follow-up touch on the initial clear. Actually, they get punished for it. If they can't break out as Space Station, they got 45 and the pressure. Arsenal still builds the gauge. Nobody's there. His touch was going. He did a Hawkster, but Hawkster didn't want to take the risk. It looked like Space Station are trying to find somebody forward. They need to connect, looking for more demos. LJ to the ground, but it's intercepted by Yan, who continues to get in the way of Space Station Gaming and their dreams of finding us on Game 7. No this one might be it no and one. lost. That could be the final dagger. Furia overcoming the pressure, going up two goals with 18 seconds left. 18 seconds until Furia are your spring invitational champion. Lost has taken this game into his own hands. A hat trick for that man. 15 seconds to go. This is a good kickoff for Space Station, but they need something. Two goals to ask for in 10 seconds. Might just be impossible, Jorby. It just may. Furia came into this 0-3 against Space no Station way. today. What? And now they won two. LJ, it doesn't matter it doesn't what matter. happens. It doesn't the matter. This is the ground. Furia, are your spring invitational champions?